What's going on YouTube family? Back at you guys again with another video. Today's video I'm going to be going over the business models I think are going to be most effective uh, moving forward into 2019. It's the fourth quarter right now. Sales are about to pick up huge. Um, but I kind of see some shifts happening in the Amazon marketplace, especially for sellers. Um, so I kind of want to just discuss what business models I think are going to be the best options um, moving forward if you want to build a full-time Amazon business. Um, so let's just get right into it. Let's start with retail arbitrage. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know what retail arbitrage is. Um, it's where you go to big box stores. Um, scan clearance items, scan items on sale, buy them for a cheaper price and sell them for more on Amazon. That's essentially what retail arbitrage is. And, you know, retail arbitrage is great for people who are just beginning. Um, but I am seeing a lot more sellers doing retail arbitrage because it is the most accessible. It's the easiest way to do Amazon retail arbitrage. It's like you just go to the, score, the stores and scan stuff. Um, and the problem I'm seeing with retail arbitrage, it's getting com uh, more competitive. Um, prices are tanking um, very quickly on most products because due to sellers not really knowing what they're doing. Um, and I'm not saying you can't make good money with retail arbitrage because I still do some retail arbitrage for fun. Um, but I'm seeing more and more sellers just like, I don't... I'll, they're, they're almost coming in and just tanking the price like on shoes, $20, $30 a shoe um, to make it to where it's only like a few bucks profit. So I, I have no idea why someone would come and spend $30, $40 on a pair of shoes to make five bucks. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, so I'm kind of just going to start shying away from retail arbitrage after Q4 is over because there is great opportunity in Q4. But going into uh, 2019, I, I only see retail arbitrage getting harder, uh, more restrictions coming for retail arbitrage, I believe. Um, stores are, aren't are discounting products as much as they used to a year or two ago. Um, so I just think the retail arbitrage business model as a whole isn't something I would bet my whole business on going forward because um, you just don't know where it's going to be two, three, four years from now. Um, but that's just my take going into 2019. If you don't have a lot of money, by all means, start with retail arbitrage. But I would only do retail arbitrage to work into a different business model, which I will go over in this video. Next is online arbitrage. It's essentially the same thing as retail arbitrage, but it's online. You're shopping online, having the products delivered to your house, maybe a prep center. Um, I've never really been a huge fan of online arbitrage. Um, it's, again, getting more competitive. Um, people sell lists. Um, and what I've noticed is online arbitrage, you can find stuff, but if you're not running searches 24-7, um, Odds are people have VAs out there running searches all the time and the, the good products are going to get bought up super quickly and I just don't think the margins doing OA are that great. Um, and essentially a lot of the products that you find are products that Amazon has sold out of so people like double the price. Um, and it's just, I don't, I've don't i never been a fan of online arbitrage. Some people do well with it um, but again the margins aren't that great in my opinion. And I just don't think it's the best business model going into 2019. Like if you had to pick between OA and RA, I'd say do RA. Because um, at least you can have that product that day and send it in the next day with OA. Sometimes you're waiting a week to get your product. By that time, the, the price could drop. You just don't know what will happen in that marketplace. Um, during the time you have to get the product, prep it, and then ship it in. You're talking your two weeks, sometimes three weeks out. Um, from actually starting to get that product up and selling. So you don't know what's going to happen with the fluctuation of prices. Um, so I just overall don't, I think retail arbitrage, online arbitrage are great um, if you're just beginning. Um, but I'm going to go into these next two different business models, which I think are a lot better options for you guys. Um, I'm just going to make sure this video is still recording because I've been having some trouble. Okay, we're good to go. Next, I'm going to go into private label. Okay, private label is where you find products that are already selling. Go over to China, find a manufacturer, put your own label on it, put your own branding packaging on that specific product, and then you sell it as your own on Amazon. Um, private label is my main business model. It's my main business on Amazon. I do think going into 2019, I think it's the best business model, especially for those of you that don't have a ton of money but have a little bit amount of money that you can work with. Um, you can start a brand. It's very scalable. Um, you can build a big business very quickly if you know how to do so, if you know the right step-by-step -step formula. 
um, and you guys know how to pick the right products, how to launch them, all that stuff. I think private label is going to be the best opportunity going into 2019. Um, but also, guys, you have the wholesale business model. The only thing bad about wholesale, if you don't have twenty, thirty thousand dollars to really go at it, go at it hard, you're not going to make a ton of money right off the bat. It's going to take you a long time to build your business up because the margins are very, very slim. You're talking sometimes all the way down to ten to twenty percent margins on products. And I know all the wholesale sellers here on YouTube probably hating, but but they say you only need a few thousand dollars to get started, but if you're making 20% margins on a wholesale product and you only have $3,000 and you sell it in a month, you're going to make 600 bucks. Whereas if you have a private label product, if you pick the right product, find the right product, use the right strategies to find your first private label product, you spend 3000 you could turn that 3000 into six or eight or 10000 depending on your margins in the product. Um, now that doesn't work for every product. You have to find the, the right one that the margins work and everything. But the margins with private label are a lot higher, a lot better than wholesale. And if you know how to get your products up and running and selling, um, it's virtually you just keep adding more products, adding more products. And you can really build a huge, highly profitable business. Um, but that's just a little breakdown going into 2019, I think. If you want to start and grow a big Amazon business, you guys should either dive into wholesale or private label. Again, I do private label. I make tons of videos about private label. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe and check out my other videos. Um, but I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you got which business model are you guys going um, to try to be tackling in 2019? Um, again, you can still do RA and OA. There's always going to be arbitrage opportunities, but as of right now, I'm seeing a lot of just dumb stuff going on with those two business models due to new sellers not knowing what they're doing, killing prices, and it's just kind of riskier business model, whereas with private label and wholesale, um, technically you're selling products. What private label, you're building your own brand, so you determine which price you're going to charge for that product. With wholesale, it's generally pretty safe. Some products will die out price will get killed on them but a lot of if you can land wholesale accounts where, where most sellers can't be selling those products um, th then it's relatively safe um, but I hope this video kind of break down each different business model and going into 2019 we're a few months away I think it's really important for you guys to pick the right business model that's scalable um, and that you guys can actually make a full-time solid income from so if you gain any value from this video Leave a like, drop a comment, again, subscribe to the channel. Also join the free Facebook group down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video.